I'm here with ex-Leeds Rhinos player Rob Burrow, one of my best mates in the old world. Gutted that he's retired now and he's, he's got the coaching, but he's been down here at Butlins all weekend for the Rhinos Challenge. Rob, Leeds Rhinos come together, Leeds Rhinos Foundation and ESF. How much have you enjoyed this weekend? Absolutely loved it. Um, just seeing so many clubs here from all different parts of the country, some, some from France. Massive concept. I came in 2014 and, and, it, and it, was, it was great then. It's just a different world now. It's just grown and grown and grown every year. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. Every, everybody I've spoke to has enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's been a ma massive success. We were talking earlier about the fact that Skirla have brought every single age group. You say that you were here in 2014 and it's changed, it's grown. How have you seen it change? Just some, I think it was football and rugby when I first come. I think there was a mixture of both, but obviously the, the way it's took off, um, you know, evidence there of Scaler bringing all the teams and and not only do you see players there, but you see all all ex players, yeah. current coaches of the Super League here and different players from all um, all different teams. So you're probably never going to get as many Super League players all on one patch at any any time. So um, that again in itself is is great. But just how everybody's got on and everybody's enjoyed it, and obviously the parents enjoy the the weekend away as well. So um, fun for everybody in the family. If you go right back to when you was in the under 10s, Rob, and I know obviously you haven't grown since you was 10, <laughs> uh, but having played at a competition like this, if you'd have played at a big tournament and seen so many professional players, what would that have meant to you as a youngster? Oh, God, absolutely everything. It's like a tour, isn't it? You know, you're going on tour with your young lads, and I've noticed everybody's put together some sort of um, different shirts for it, haven't they? Some have got a Captain America. It, <laughs> it, they've just, it's kind of like their magic weekend, isn't it? If, if there's an amateur right. sort of magic weekend, I think it's this, where everybody comes together, you play teams you may never, ever play, uh, different parts of the country, as you said, and I think it, it, it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger, and before you know it, you'll have teams coming from all over Europe to play in it, I'm sure. So um, I, I'm thoroughly enjoyed being part of it, and I'll certainly look forward to coming next year if I can. Imagine that, the International Rhinos Challenge, and there's not enough time to do everything that you no. want to do at Butlins. Butlins no. is a great venue, isn't it? It's a great yeah. place to come and enjoy a tournament like this. It is. I, I, I was growing up on, on sort of holiday sites like this, so uh, it's great to come back. And I came with Mitch Garber, and they're Australian. They didn't quite know what they were coming into, but <laughs> they were saying, where are we going? But when we got here, they couldn't believe how good it was. So not only are you a great um, holiday village, but, you know, enjoying rugby league as well. What, what, what more can you ask for, Jonesy? Weekend, Butlins, Rugby League, it's like gold, mate, it's like heaven. Now, you're into coaching now, child yeah. development. Obviously, we want British Rugby League to be as good as it can be, and yeah. this is all part of the process for the next generation. How important is this competition for the development of those players? Absolutely massive. Um, just just seeing myself, some talented players out there, and, and you're probably never going to get as many clubs playing all over the couple of days, are you? So a great opportunity for scouts to come and stuff. So, I, again, I'm, I'm sure as it goes on and goes on, it'll become more influential in people picking up young talent. Uh, I've certainly seen lots of great uh, young young players here today, both boys and girls, as it happens. And, Absolutely. Um, so, no, it, it's great. It's, like I say, it's just getting bigger and bigger. So, I, the more you do with this and the more people um, hear about it I think you know the, the more concepts it'll be in, in, in picking up the, the stars from here as well Rob makes a fantastic point it's not just about the boys all about the girls as well loads of girls out there smashing the boys to bits and women's rugby league is getting massive now so if you're a girl and you're thinking about it get yourself down get yourself out there and, and fulfil your potential now lastly Rob we've got the presentations some would say the best part of it coming and rewarding for all the efforts that have gone out on those fields the music's booming it's really important to the re reward the kids and uh, give them a, a big trophy. They are big trophies as well to go yeah. on with. Yeah, um, they, they've worked their socks off all weekend. They've had some fun as well. And, and what, what what better way to finish it than, than coming on stage and, and, and getting um, a round of applause and a nice big trophy to take home. That's what it's all about. It's all about having fun, isn't it? And the lads have certainly had fun. So let's have some memorabilia of it and, and, and remember this weekend all the more so. There's some big lads and all sometimes out there. Do you ever get nervous that some under-11s might come out and be taller than you? Josie, you say some big lads. I think it's everybody's big lads out there, out there to me anyway. So... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and they still always stand up at side of me like that just to make sure they are bigger. And, and some are even, not even at my shoulders, but they're, they're still trying to think they're bigger try, than me. Trying to dominate him. Anybody out there who's thinking about coming to Rhino's Challenge who haven't been or has been before, what would you say? Don't think about it, just come. It's absolutely amazing and I just wish I could have been involved in something like this as a kid growing up. You've heard it from the man himself. Get it booked, come down. See you soon.